welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic, Tia Mari, and I've discussed her before. And I'm not going to go too in-depth. I'm just going to speak on something that just recently came out. I guess she has a new reality show that I don't plan to watch. I'm a fan, but I'm not going to watch it. It's called Tia Mari, The Next Chapter. And I guess she states that she is no longer close to her twin, Tamara. And, um, and I know, you know, sometimes I feel like I have to kind of guard my opinions in a sense, but you know, that's the beauty of having differing opinions. If you don't like it, you can switch the channel or if you agree, you know, um, I know divorce is the new happily married. If you understand what I'm saying, the generation that I grew up in, I'm Gen X. We were all about wanting to get married and being married and stuff like that. Today's culture, it seems to be happily divorced. I'm single, fabulous, and free. And I personally don't agree with that, particularly if there was nothing egregious uh, about or, you know, what was going on in the, the marriage, you know. Do we know what went on in Tia Maury's and Corey Hardrick's marriage? No, we don't. But one thing she didn't say was DV or infidelity. Because we know if that was going on, she would have been all over it, in my opinion. So one of the things that she said is she's no longer close to her sister. And if you you know, know about her sister, you know, she's been with her husband since 2000, they've been married since 2011, at least. I think they were together six years prior to that. And the way I'm looking at it as an outsider looking in, Tamara is respecting her boundaries, as it were. She's protecting her nucleus, her family, her marriage, her status as a wife. And I remember I read somewhere, uh, it was a study that stated, if you hang with a lot of divorced women, that's not verbatim, then the likelihood of you becoming divorced increases. And I remember I made that point on on a online one day, and this lady went off on me. But she must have been triggered. It must she must have been in that situation? You know, I don't know why people be getting so you know easily triggered online over people's opinions. You know, and going off on a quick tangent is still you know relationship and marriage wise or whatever. This lady ripped me a new one on a Kevin Samuels, Kendra G forum that I belong to on Facebook. But it just shows that she was triggered by what I said. Because anytime you have to level an ad hominem attack against someone, instead of a attacking their point of view, but you attack them as a person, then you've already lost the argument. You know, I didn't even go back and forth with her. I think I just put her on block. I don't have time for these man-hating, pro-divorce, can't-keep-a-man women. You know, we're trying to talk to you young ladies, and that's one of the things she said to me. Don't nobody need you to be talking to these women out here and this, that, and the other. See, ladies in the sisterhood, the sisterhood don't care about y'all because if they did, they would be trying to help guide you into having a better life with a husband than they did or if they even have a husband at all because a lot of the women that I feel attack me online they don't even have a husband they've never had a husband but you see me going off on tangent as I always do so back to Tia I have no sympathy for Tia I feel for her children the plus side is she seems to be keeping a cordial relationship between herself and her ex-husband for the sake of their children because at the end of the day the children are who matters and another reason why I wanted to discuss this is because when you get married your priorities shift you don't have the same type of freedom 
to just hang out with your girls like you did when you were single and unattached. Once you become a wife, your husband takes priority number one. And then if you have children, that's another priority. So, you know, just in the normal scheme of things, friendships, even, even um, family ties tend to kind of, you know, drift apart as people either settle into their marriage. I remember this is back when I was still single and one of my aunts and I, we used to be very close, like very, very close. We're like sisters. We're only four years apart. And when she first got married, she didn't have time for me, you know, like when, before she was married and I'm going to be honest, I might've been upset. I don't even think that I was that upset. I ended up um, going off and being friends with a cousin, you know, another relative of ours, because she was a single woman as well. So, you know, once my aunt and I weren't close anymore, so then uh, I took up, you know, with my cousin. And I remember, you know, a few years into my aunt's marriage, she wanted to kind of, you know, come back into you know, my fold or whatever, as you, as it were, but I had already moved on friendship wise, you know, but, you know, obviously looking back on it now, I get it. Particularly once I became a wife, your priorities change. In Tia and Tamara's case, Tamara wants to keep her marriage intact from what I can tell. Tia still wants to be out there being that single, fabulous, and free woman, all the while looking for a husband, another husband, thinking that a man wants to put up with a single, fabulous, and free, and I'm independent. No man worth his weight in gold is going to be trying to deal with that. So that was my little video for today. And tell me what you think about um, Tia and her twin, Tamara, just because they're twins. It doesn't mean that Tamara has to, you know, destroy her marriage for her twin. You know, there are a lot of women out there who think that friends and family comes before a spouse, a husband, which is crazy to me, which shows me how much, especially in our community, it seems like husbands are an afterthought. Husband, husbands aren't really that important. You know, I remember watching um, living single. And one of the characters was like, even once we get married and everything, we're always going to be number one, you know? Um, but that was like 30 plus 30 or so years ago, but it's, it's real easy to say stuff like that when you don't have a spouse and I'll talk to you later.